This is comedy gold. <laughs> Is anyone gonna say anything? So, we meet again, Sinbad. Choice to be a king because he's a fucking moron! Indeed we do, you dark, tall, and handsome. No, you're supposed to insult him. Insult him! I'm only gonna say this once. If you hand over Blondie, Pink, and the Blue Oyster Cult this instant, I promise you, no one will get hurt. You go off Randy Slags the second you land it! Ah! Now. Ha! I'll have you know I've hidden Inky Blinky and Clyde in the safest place known to man and Pac-Man alike! Not Hogwarts? Safer than not Hogwarts. He sent them to go conquer a dungeon! <laughs> Jafar, what is he doing? I think he's laughing at your plan. That's right. Laugh. <laughs> Laugh at my plan in fear, <laughs> you Are you ever gonna stop laughing? I feel this is getting excessive. Oh. It's excessive, all right. Sin bad plan, my man. These nicknames are terrible. Hush, Magnum Dong. Brennan! I mean, I came here for the blondie and the blued haired fuckboys. But if you sent them to a dungeon, there's no way they'll make it out alive. I'm sure as long as they just stick together, they'll be fine. I'm splitting you up. But all I have is this limpy, pointy. <laughs> Don't worry, Haiku. I cure you. Thanks. You have nothing to fear with me at your side. That's me and Aladdin! You can't call Dibs in a dungeon! Zogon recognizes Dibs. Son of a oh, Well, it wasn't out quiet. Where are we? <gasps> Did we do it? Did we save the girl and conquer the dungeon? No, fuckface. I've been conquering the dungeon. Wow. Humble much? Yeah. Stop sucking your own dick! Sissel, dick Sissel, it's a bird looking up! <sighs> Let me get you up to speed. How? Dare you use dibs to split me up? You're not my king's candidate anymore, Alibaba. Hakusho is. I of all, it's Hakuryu. Double I of all, I will henceforth refer to Hakuryu as fuckface. Triple I of all, I already knew that. Why do you think I made sure to separate you from fuckface? Did you just list at me and not Roman numerals? X out of X, best numerical system. Insulting someone you know nothing about. Typical Alibaba. Yes, fine, typical me. Typical me that I'm lashing out because it hurt when you ditched me to go make the Fresh Prince of I Don't Give a Shit a King without finishing me off first! You wanna rephrase that? Desperately. I told you, Alibaba! It's over! What do you even see in that fuckface douchebag anyway? Fuck Ryu isn't a douchebag! At least he has emotions unlike you, you best friend murdering sociopath! I've shown emotion before! I'm angry right now! You know what? Yeah! That's true! You've cried every time someone told you you couldn't be king! You're... you're not crying. I told you, Aladdin! I'm done with wanting to be a king. king, king, king. <laughs> Do you give up so easily, child? You wish you weren't here. You wish you were born lesser. Lie to the world if you want to. It is your birthright. But you can't lie to me. You are Prince Alibaba. You were born privileged. Better, you have the power to change this world. You will become king. All you have to do is do it. Aladdin, give me a chance. We can fix this. I know we can get along. We have to have something in common. I guarantee we have nothing in common. Okay, okay, let's play a game. On the count of triple I, name your favorite food. I, double I, triple I, applesauce, apple pie. pie. Basically the same thing. Favorite dessert, go! Not apple Kobe. pie, okay. Okay, you heard desert, not dessert, but if I had said desert, I would have immediately said not Gobi as well. So that's a uh, fun little tidbit about me. Favorite type of pie! I'm, I'm not, not playing, playing this stupid, stupid game, game with you anymore, you, you egotistical, egotistical delusional dipshit! Did we just become best friends? No! Fuck! And then 
we walked in here to find Morgiana with your probably more useful lifeless corpse, which much to my chagrin, proceeded to wake up and yell whore at the top of your lungs for like a year. Well, you certainly didn't leave any of those insults out. Do you have any idea how you got here? I must have beaten Zagon's challenges and taken a victory nap. Then I had a dream about my mother. At least, it's probably why I yelled whore at the top of my lungs. Alas, I guess we'll never know what happened. No one else was there. I was there. This is what happened. Hey, I'm a prince. Fascinating. I totally don't have a crush on a guy who's also a prince. I summon an army of the dead. Suits of armor. I'm a genie. This is the genie voice. Stand back, Akira you. I'll handle this. No. Meninism. Phallic weapon attack. Are you sure you're okay? I always bleed from my eyes. So, you're telling me I rushed gallantly into action. And got clobbered in two seconds, leaving me to fend for myself against a legion of golems while protecting your comatose body? Yes. Oh. Well, it looks like we'll have to press forward and save that little girl. I'll have to put all my energy and strength into my limpy, pointy... Oh god, who am I kidding? <laughs> We're gonna die! We're all gonna die! Hey, as someone who's conquered a dungeon before, I think you're gonna be fine, fuckface. Stop calling me a fuckface! Calm down, devil man cry, baby. Believe in the me who believes in me. Shut up, pink hair, Chuck Norris! You'll be fine, Hacker Yoda Kisei. I have a stick and I make out just fine. Hakuru, you and your stick shoots fiery death! Touche, touche. I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! He's such a middle child. Like you? Psh, no, I'm the youngest. Haven't you noticed how petulant and attention-seeking I am? Or were you ignoring me? Why did I have to come here? I wish I was never part of this stupid royal bloodline. I wish I was never part of Prince. Take that back. No, I mean it. It's stupid, and I don't deserve this. I said take it back, you little insect. I don't want to be a prince. Hakuryu, I know you never chose to be born into this path. You didn't ask for this status. You didn't ask for this responsibility. But like it or not, you are one of the few privileged to have an opportunity to change this world. Don't you ever wish you were born lesser. I, I mean, whatever floats your boat, Hacker fuck face. Come on, gang, let's solve this mystery dungeon, conquer it, what, whatever. <laughs> oh, that won't be necessary. Normally, I'd have you fight through some doll creatures, giant one-eyed beast and whatnot, but the trio of you candidates are just so pathetic. I figured I'd do you a service and finish off you and your magi right now! Oh my god, would you like to rephrase that? No! Now, bow before the awesome power of Zagon, the neo-vegan genie! Oh, how dare you attack me! That was a basic spell any genie could easily deflect, but you blocked it with your own body. You're not Zagon, the genie of this dungeon. You're just some dungeon plant that looks like him. Oh, and by the way, if we don't kill you and you have to trick another group of hopeless adventurers, it's pronounced Magi. How annoyingly perceptive of you, you. Where did you get that staff? Uh... 80 years ago. That woman buried me as a seedling. Now, I'm going to bury you! Let me guess. He's about to open a trapdoor under our feet. Yep. Giant people eating plant at the bottom? Most, Most likely. likely. Bring it on! We're gonna die! We're gonna die! Calm down. Aladdin, magic carpet time! On it! The carpet has been compromised! Is this really it? Falling into a plant? Again? Oh, fantastic, my flashbacks. Do you think they know? That we have a blood pact? Nope. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You know, because it'd be 
A little embarrassing if anyone learned about my, uh, <laughs> yoga. You told me to forget about it, so I did. Just like that? Well, I at least buried it in the deepest recesses of my mind. You know, two doors down from where I repress my emotions. So barring those coming back... You can do that too? Alibaba. As a slave, I've had to hide my feelings and follow orders all my life. This is a piece of gruel. You mean cake. What's cake? You're telling me you've never done anything of your own volition. Not once. What about the time you came to save me from those monkeys in not Baghdad? Well... King Sinbad, I have finished preheating the oven, sir. Good work, big kid Cuck Norris. Now, go save Alibaba from monkeys. Sir, yes, sir! Hop to... Sir, how do you know there will be monkeys? The king has to know these things, Jafar. Also, there's always monkeys. <laughs> always. You're sure? As sure as I am that the fastest way to preheat an oven is with eight tons of dynamite! Wait, with what? So wait, was that a flashbang within a flashback within a flashback? Why did I see that? I don't understand. Looks like that went just as planned. <laughs> Did you hear that, guys? Like planned, but planned. Because I am one. <laughs> oh, my existence is haunting. What the? What are you doing here? You should be stewing in my zesty juices. How dare you save them? How dare you defy me? You stupid monkey! Dear my feelings, you absolutely suck. You know why I locked you up. You know what you did. You made me feel helpless in slavery. You made me feel lonely and miserable. You even made me feel infatuated with a douchebag king wannabe, despite me walking in on him trying to suck his own dick! But you know what? I don't care anymore. You can make me feel anything you want to. Because you, these feelings, you are what make me jump down this rabbit hole again. You are what make me fight for my friends. You are what make me human. And not a fucking monkey! No! This can't be the end! I have so so many omnivores to shame! So many omnivores! I did it. I did it myself. For the first time in my life, I did what I wanted. I'm so happy I could cry. Why are my tears red? Say that all out loud? I thought we had a blood pact! Oh no. Oh, Neptune. We need to get her to the treasure room. Why? So you can watch her die as king? We get to the treasure room, we can summon the real genie, and use the wish to save her life. We're running out of time. Oh no, 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 no. You're not going to be wishing for anything. The only one here who's going to become king is Akuna Matata. Akuryu. Akuryu. Whatever. He's the only one getting kinged. Fine. Then I'll go alone. Oh no, you won't. For all I know, you're going to wish for Ryu Haku to die! Just like Yoko! Just like Kasim! Hey! We saved the girl, guys! We saved the girl! Guys? Like I said before, I'm gonna prove to you I've changed the only way I know how. By conquering this dungeon and saving- <gasps> Morgiana? <coughs> Morgiana, you're alive! You're alive! Why are my eyes wet? If you're gonna save her, you're gonna need the only person who knows the secret password. I know the secret password. It's open sesame, right? <sighs> no. Let me in! Let me in! I'm starting to think dungeons are stupid. Have you met Sinbad? He's conquered, like, nine. I wonder who his May guy is. Moggy! Apart from that huge... Rick, we met in Not Baghdad. You're the only other McGee I know. Moggy! I'm a Moggy! Aladdin's not a Moggy, you fucking idiot! I knew it. He's a mad jai. <sighs> Why? Why are all the powerful ones always so dumb? Fucking preach? With pleasure. For you see, in the beginning, there were three wise men. Except one of them was a woman, and the other was a surprisingly attractive homeless person. 
Since forever, it was their job to create dungeons as a test to see who was fit to lead the world. The result of which, so far, has been idiots, assholes, and idiotic assholes. So slightly better in democracy. The point being, there have always been three Moggies to maintain balance. Even after a Moggy dies, a new one will appear in their place. But never in the history of the world has there been four at one time! Which means... A Moggy's about to die. No. No, I'm saying the blue-haired, un-Arabian fuckboy isn't a Magi. But he has the power of a Magi. Yeah. But he's not one. Right. Because there are three Magis. Mm -hmm. But if a Magi dies, there'll be two. Uh, huh. But you can't have two Magis if there's always three Magi, unless the new Magi's not a Magi until one Magi dies and the Magi that's not a Magi becomes a Magi, leaving three Magis. <laughs> right? Sorry, I'm just... It's weird hearing you be logical. Logical? I don't want to jiggle your log, Jafar! And we're back. Well, I've got a hair appointment in 15. But I just wanted to let you know that Aladdin's not a Magi. And one other thing. Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, oh, the organization! No, <coughs> sorry. The organization is declaring war on you. They should be here in, um, 15 minutes. Well, that works out perfectly! Nice organization, the organization. Get on them. You think you can just waltz your belly dancing ass in here, declare war on us, and leave? You'd have to be a huge prick to do that! Yeah! Wait. Oh, shit. I, I think I forgot my purse! You forgot your satchel! It's a fucking purse, man! So if what he says is true, that Aladdin isn't a Magi, are those four going to be okay? Well, if he isn't a Magi, it's a good thing that they're all in that dungeon. Safe from the organization. Hello, Dungeoneers. We didn't expect you'd make it this far. Well done. Who the hell are you guys? We're members of the organization. The organization of what? Evil. Evil what? Oh, oh my god. god. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, Eagle Eight Burger here. If you like this episode, let us know by smashing that like button and hitting up the comment section. Who doesn't love a good timestamp? If you really liked it, consider supporting the Schmuck Squad on Patreon. Your support helps parodies like this come out at a faster rate. A much faster rate than these apps, to be clear. Bad example! Thanks for watching, and hope to chat with you in, well, less than three years.